Welcome to Nelly Vision. Today's tips and tricks video, I'm going to show you how to DIY your own dry flowers and leaves for nail art. Here are some of the dry leaves I have created in the past because online you can buy a lot of this kind of um, colored flowers like this but it's very hard to find the leaves combined with the flowers to create the designs so I'm going to show you how to create this dry leaves there are many of the plants you can use for this kind of thing but I'm going to show you one today which is um, this one uh, here's food fern there are many of this kind of little plants uh, in the garden nurseries or those kind of places I bought this from the um, garden world in Melbourne you can have a look around your local area to find this kind of small um, plants with this one I have washed it and let it dry yesterday because you need to wash off the dust and the uh, fertilizers on top of the plants you can see it is like this so as a whole piece it's gonna be like a bit bigger then your nail but after you dried it it's going to shrink a lot more See? so the pieces you're looking for something like this in the plant big and doesn't have any um, bugs bites or yellow pieces and things like that and not looking for this kind of little ones and the dry leaves all those kind of things so just avoid those ones I'll make a whole piece like this and this for today's video now I have cut all the petals the leaves into smaller pieces what we need is a tablecloth like this it needs to be like a more of a smooth surface not recommended to use this kind of um, tablecloth because it have like little dots on it after you press on the leaves after they dry it's very visible the dots on the um, dot mat on the leaves or flowers so best to use a flat sheet with a very smooth surface I'm going to put the sheet flat on the surface and then I'm going to place all the leaves on it okay I'm going to put the leaves facing down just try to avoid it contacting each other because after they dry they're gonna stick together and it's gonna be a bit fragile if you try to remove them so just try to separate them as much as you can when you placing them if you are making a lot at once you can so just use another cloth just cover it and then put another set on the top and then just repeat if you need more now I think it looks good I'm going to gently cover it Don't press it too hard with your hands 
and then I'm going to wrap it a few layers with other sheets. Now we can take it outside to my gas hot water system. Now I'm going to put the leaves on top of the gas hot water system. It's pretty common in Australia. So I'm going to just put it on top. Because it's on 24 hours, so it will heat up at some time. And then it's, it's warm on top now because it's not boiling the water at the moment but later when it's boiling the water it's gonna become hot and then I'm going to cover it with a plastic board because if you have something that is not plastic it's good but I'm gonna put some weight on top of it as well so good to go just wait for 24 hours okay so now six hours has passed let's have a look I think it's all pretty dried the look dried and they feel dry as well okay let's take it inside okay. so after we have take it inside you can choose the ones you want and discard the ones you don't want the ones with not shaping well and have little dents of yellow or not perfecting ones so like this ones it's folded on the way I flipped it so it's fold on the side so we don't want that one I only want, like the ones that are perfect so every time when you do it you can do it like say three or four layers but it will take a little bit more time to dry but you just leave it on top of your hot water system it will dry itself normally when I do it like five layers and plus another five layers of sheets to cover it it normally takes maximum of 24 hours to dry so you just leave it overnight the next day ready to go 